today we got this beautiful Lexus IS350 in the shop and you already know what we're doing we're getting rid of this chrome guys the chrome on the window has got to go everything is blacked out already and on top of that we're also doing the chrome on the side mirrors here so stay tuned I'm gonna show you guys how it's done If you guys have the same vehicle it's very easy to do just follow along let's get to it what's going on Ehab Halat back again with another video happy holidays and a happy new year to everyone out there I hope everybody had fun I hope everyone stayed safe um, I know for me I got a little sick I had the stomach bug and let me tell you it was not fun at all it was horrible but I'm back at work I'm healthy I'm happy and we got this beautiful Lexus IS 350 in the shop I love these things they they really up their game with this Lexus the lights uh, just little things the body style is just a one now this customer bring it in uh, everything is blacked out except the window trim and then there's some chrome on the side mirror so we're gonna do uh, gloss black on that and I got everything I need here uh, we got gloss black vinyl roll this is a uh, 3m brand so it's good quality stuff please don't use cheap Amazon stuff that comes from China it won't last, it won't lay down properly for you. Trust me, I have a lot of experience. Next, we're gonna need some 3M knifeless tape. Um, this is gonna help cut the vinyl, so we don't have to use a knife. Um, but for me, I will be using a knife. In some areas, you will need a knife, so make sure you have a nice sharp blade, and be very careful when making cuts, not to cut any rubber, not to cut the paint, anything like that. Let's get to the car. We're gonna start off with the window trim. Uh, on the side mirrors, I'm gonna actually spray them black plastic dip. So let's get you guys to the car and uh, let's start vinyl wrapping some window trim. All right guys, we're at the car. One thing I did forget to mention that you will need, stupid me, it's the most important thing you'll need, is a heat gun. Definitely need a heat gun, heat the vinyl up. Uh, it's gonna tack it down a lot better. Um, it's gonna make it a lot more stickier. So first things first, we cleaned the window trim and the surrounding areas. Make sure when you are cleaning uh, the window trim, uh, what I like to do is roll down the windows. That gives me access to the rubber under the window trim here. I could stick my uh, microfiber cloth in there and just run it all the way along and make sure it's clean. You wanna make sure that you get all the edges. So open the door up and you know wipe down the edges. Um, on top of here, the rubber part, make sure you get the top of the chrome. You want to make sure you cover all visible chrome or it's going to look very stupid. <laughs> what I like to do is clean it, soap and water, and then run, get my rubbing alcohol, spray it, give it a clean, and then we're ready to vinyl wrap. Also, keep note that red interior is absolutely stunning. I love red interior and cars. We're gonna start with the bottom chrome. We're gonna do this all in one piece. So we're gonna start from here. We're gonna cover all this. We're gonna to go to the back, cover all this, all the way until this little slit. That's where we're gonna stop our uh, vinyl wrap. Uh, for this one, I'm actually not gonna use any knifeless tape. I'm gonna freehand it with a knife just because I do have enough room up here. I could run my blade in between the rubber and the chrome. There's quite a bit of room where I could s stick my blade in. Same thing with the bottom. You could use knifeless tape, but I'm gonna show you guys with a freehand cut. So I got my piece of vinyl laid down. I got a magnet on each end holding it down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at one side. I'm gonna peel it back, tack it down, and then work my way from front to back. Just tack it all down. I'll just take my magnet off. And then we're gonna grab the vinyl, peel it back. Again, make sure it's clean, bone dry. Grab your vinyl and just start laying it down.
I got the top part laid down. So what I do is I'll press, I'll go all, all the way along the chrome here and I'll just press it, press the vinyl down on the top. And then once I got the top laid, I'll start laying down the middle. So I'll push my finger down on the middle and I gotta get that foam. So I'm just tacking the vinyl down, make sure there's no wrinkles. You guys are more than welcome to use a squeegee or if you want to use a wrap glove, you can. I just don't have one handy. Here's how it looks now that we got it all tacked. So just make sure everything is pressed down firmly. We're gonna grab some heat, go over it, and then we're gonna make our cuts. So we're gonna start from the front and move our way back uh, to heat. So now we grab our knife and we're gonna start, I'm gonna cut the top and then we'll cut the bottom. All right guys, so we just cut the excess vinyl off the top. It may take some time, but you gotta go slow. Uh, don't apply too much pressure and you should be fine. Just make sure, you'll, you'll know if you're cutting into rubber or not. You'll feel it, but hopefully not. Just be careful. And again, if you are not confident with the knife, I'll show you guys how to use the knifeless tape. We got the bottom cut, we got the top cut, and I'm gonna do this little slit here where the chrome ends. I'm gonna go ever so gentle, ever so lightly. Just like that. Beautiful. So the next step here is in between, since we did it one piece, uh, where we open the doors, it's all attached. So we're gonna obviously cut it. So I'm just gonna follow the line here. We're gonna cut it on each end, on each edge, and then we should have nice clean line. I'll open this door up. And then I could use my hand here and we could cut the other edge off now. I'll hold one end and then I'll cut the edge there. Just like that. And then what I do is I'll just use my finger, tuck it around. So now we got this part here on the end. I'm just gonna open the door. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna heat it up, stretch it, lay it down, and then I'll cut off any excess vinyl that needs to come off. And as soon as the heat touches this vinyl, it's gonna make it stretchier where I could pull it, tack it down. So I'm just gonna heat it up a bit. That. I forgot to mention there's a prote protective film on top of this vinyl so you're gonna see little scratches here and there that's doing its purpose that's what it does uh, protects you, it from scratching the vinyl so when you're laying it down you're not scratching the actual vinyl you're scratching this pl plastic film that's on top of the vinyl so one final step is we're just gonna grab the heat and we're gonna make sure all the edges up top and bottom are all tucked in and they're not sticking up. So they'll be nice and clean looking. Okay, and then for the final step, guys, I'm just gonna grab an edge there, pull it off when you're done. And here's the plastic that comes off. No harm done to the actual vinyl. So just like that, that plastic layer gets off. Peel it off and voila. That's what I like about the 3M guys. So here it is. And 
nice and glossy. Curve it around here. So what I'm doing here is I'm pulling with my right arm here and I'm directing it as well on which way it needs to go. All right, so it's gonna be a little bit different here. I'm gonna actually cut the middle here so I can open the door. And that way I can tuck the top in here a lot easier. And then I'll make my cut on the bottom. So now I got full access here to the top part where I could pull the rubber back and then I could tuck the vinyl in and then cut off any excess vinyl that needs to be cut off. Grab our knife. And there should be a little spot we could tuck our knife in and cut off the excess vinyl. Got a piece over here. So there is a little rubber piece under the chrome. So I'm gonna stick my knife in between the rubber and the chrome. There's a little slit there and then I'm just gonna get my knife follow it all the way along. You don't gotta press too hard if you have a sharp knife. Like I said, it'll cut through it. It'll glide through it like butter. Just like that, guys. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lift it up here and then I'm gonna press it all the way down just so I know that there's all the air is out of there and then I can stick my knife in and make a cut. Just lift it up just enough where it pops off that edge and then I'm gonna just grab my fingernail, glide it along, make sure I get all the air pockets out. I gotta get that. All right, so we're gonna grab our knife. We're just gonna stick it in here ever so lightly. Follow it along and it'll make a cut for you. Just like that. And there is a little gap. We could run our knife along that as well. All right guys, so now we're gonna be doing the corner chrome here. Uh, for this one, we're gonna have to use knifeless tape. It'll be a lot easier, so I'm just gonna lay knifeless tape on the inside here and then on the outside and then we're going to do our lines here as well. So now that we have knifeless tape overlapping each other, we're going to make sure we peel these ones first and then the bottom one, and then the top one, and then the inner one. Sounds complicated, but it's not. <laughs> I like to start from the top and work my way down. Grab our heat gun, we're gonna heat it up, and then we're gonna peel our knifeless tape. We're gonna start, like we said, this one. And this bottom one here. Like that. We're going to do the bottom one. And 
now you guys will slowly start seeing it come together. Saves you so much time. You don't have to cut up against any of the rubber or on the car or anything. It cuts it all for you. Now that the cuts are all done, I just gotta tuck in my excess vinyl. And what I'm gonna use to help me do that is my tuck tool. So let me get you guys a close up here. See if I could get you guys, show you guys how it works. Lots of fingerprints on it, but we'll clean it up after. So there's a rubber down here. We're just gonna lift it up. We get behind the vinyl, just like that. It lifts up pretty easy. Most rubbers are pretty stiff, but this one just lifts up. And then you get your tuck tool, lifts it up for you, and then run your finger and push the vinyl underneath that rubber. Just till we get all the way up here. So you just take this, the rubber up here as well. You're gonna go all the way, lift it back, and then push that vinyl all underneath it. And now we got this part here, around the corner. We're gonna tuck our vinyl down as much as we can, and then we're gonna get a knife, and we're just gonna score it, just so we cut it, cut off the excess, because I can't tuck this vinyl in here. This piece is, it's stiff. You can't really move it, so. Gonna grab my heat gun, heat it up, press it down, and then lightly cut around it. There's that excess vinyl. Our corner piece is done. All that's left to do just heat it all up, make sure everything's pressed down, everything's secured, you don't have any loose edges popping up, and you're good to go. It's all complete, window trim is done, this side mirror chrome is blacked out. I did just use Hyper Dip Piano Black from Dip Your Car to black that out, and it turned out beautiful. So we did that with Hyper Dip, and then the window trim and gloss black 3M vinyl wrap. Looking absolutely gorgeous. Now it is complete. So he needs the black, uh, needs to black out the emblems though. I might just suggest that to him. Window trim on the other side is complete. It's got the nice, beautiful black wheels with the red calipers. Grill is already gloss black. Check out this beast of a Jeep, guys. But it looks pretty, pretty nice. Uh, I just did the hood wrap on this, so you did a satin black hood, and it looks absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up if you did. Hope I helped you guys out. Uh, if you are new, hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. If you guys have any questions, uh, comments, leave them down below. I will be happy to help you guys as much as I can. My name is Ehab Halat, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.